Welcome back. Well, here's some news for you. The average child is in front of a screen three hours every single day. It is nearly impossible a long time. to get them to put down those devices and unplug. Luckily for us, leadership expert and best-selling author Matt Browning is back. He's got some great tips for parents. Hey, I'm so happy to be here. Look, as a father myself, yeah. and you know, you said you have a nine and a ten year old. Yes. I have an eight year old. It can be hard to get them to unplug without being the bad guy. It's very true, and you do feel bad when you yeah. do it. It's like you just took away their favorite toy, you know. Yeah, and, and it world. becomes the struggle, this fight. Yes. And I'm here to say, parents, you don't have to make it a fight. Okay, how can we not make it a fight? I got six simple tips. Now these, <laughs> I was just telling you before we started, <laughs> yeah. these are all from home. <laughs> these are all me and my son's games and portables and all this stuff. Right. What did your son say when you took all of these for today? He was so mad. He was like, Dad, <laughs> I said, I'll leave your tablet. And he was like, Okay. Fine. <laughs> but there's six kind of counterintuitive ideas. Mm -hmm. So uh, to get your kids to unplug, especially during the holidays when they're out of school. Yeah. So you is use time limits before they start. So often parents, you know, you go into the room and say 10 more minutes and then you have to get off. <laughs> and then it's 30, 30 minutes more, later. Yeah. And then you're in this fight where it's like, why is it always a struggle? Yeah. So sometimes we forget to set time limits before you start. Okay. So you say something like this, check out this sentence. Hey, you can play as much Xbox as you want for the next 30 minutes. Then it's time to feed the dog. Okay. You'd be shocked at when the timer goes off. They might even get up and do it themselves, <laughs> but they move to the next activity really easily. They know it's coming. They know it's, it's coming. Surprise. It's a lot easier. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, N this, this is new seven. activities and options. So we want to like come up with more activities than just you know either video games or homework, <laughs> right? <laughs> right. Because what Something would you else pick? in between? Right. Of course, I'm going to pick video games. So what do we say instead? I know every mom, every dad has said this at some point. Hey, you've played too much video games, too much screen, so go outside. Go outside, <laughs> yep. go outside isn't right. an option because in their mind right. they have no imagination. What is mm -hmm. outside? Mm -hmm. So help them be great option creators. So what are you going to do outside? Are you playing with your friends? Are you going to play cops and robbers? Mm -hmm. Are you? What exactly are you going to do? Help okay. them come up with more options than just go outside. Because do y'all remember the day we had to play outside? We found things to do. We did. Or if not, they found you a rake and gave you something. Yeah, to do. Are you, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can't come up with it. I'll come up with it for you. Right, yeah. right. But help them come up with fun options instead of just homework and video games. Okay. Well, what else are you going to do specifically? Okay, right? I like that. Yeah. They yeah. have to be uh, creative. Now, you say leave the screens behind. Does that mean when you go anywhere but home? Everywhere you go, leave the screens behind. But before you decide to do that, the P is for play the games with them. And this is the most counterintuitive, bizarre way, but a lot of parents, they go, I don't understand this Minecraft thing or this whatever they're playing, we don't get it. <laughs> so get into at least one game and play the games with them. Okay. Uh, I got the, the Switch, the Nintendo Switch is a yeah, great one. my son loves that. And we love it because my wife and son and I, we can play games together. They have a lot of games that are like two, three, four players. Yeah, uh -huh. Mario so Kart. We're, Mario Kart, we're Very, all on the yeah, couch we together. Play we play Smash Brothers, yeah. and we're yep. beating each other up and poking, and we start joking. <laughs> and it's like you're doing a board game. So yeah. you turn screen time into family time. Okay. I like that. Now, Kimberly, you did say leave the screens leave, behind. That's hard to do when you're maybe going to a restaurant or they're going to be it's, in the car for a long time. Well, yeah. It's scary. It's yeah, busy. it's terrifying. But it's our responsibility to make a decision when you walk out of the house, and it's not leave it in my purse, leave it in my <laughs> pocket, even in the car. Kids, see, kids right. are smart. They know that it's in the car. <laughs> so they're like, come on, you, or it's in your purse, mom, yeah. please. And then we finally, you know, get right. it into it. Yeah. So leave it behind. If you go to the zoo, you go to the restaurant, leave it at home. Kids are okay. smart. They know if there's no option, they won't ask for it because it's not possible. And believe it or not, they will find other things to do. <laughs> will they, though? They, they always will. will. They might ask for your own personal phone after that. You gotta say no. Yeah. Just gotta no. say no, right? You can't take the phone. Well, and, and this is an interesting thing too. What if we left our phone behind? Well, what if, oh, no, 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 this is impossible. That's not even, I, how do I live? Hey. <laughs> how do I survive? But we are the role model. And speaking of role model, the U is for understanding that adult tasks are fun for kids. And this is a really interesting thing, you know, okay. they're, they're fun. Look, I'm not talking about chores. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody likes chores. I don't like chores. <laughs> I don't like them. My son doesn't like them. <laughs> but my son, Val, he's eight years old. He loves doing adult tasks. So he'll break down our Amazon boxes or uh, help me make dinner, full of clothes. Cool. Go check the mail. He loves to go out to the mm -hmm. driveway and go check the mail. Mm -hmm. It's fun. It's like kids play grown up. They it's do a blast like for that. They feel yeah. a little independent. A little, yeah, they like doing some And more it's things. more things. You, you got to give them fun activities that are different than usual and it gets them really amped and doing something fun. I like that Matt and finally you say get up and get outdoors. Yeah the G and unplug is get outside, get outdoors and I'm talking about going out to the front yard or the backyard. I mean away from distractions, okay. away from electronics. Even if it's an hour uh, at the park or it's a weekend camping in the woods man. You know if you ever taken a kid camping 
they're gone from everything, the distractions, and it's so fascinating how sticks and, and rocks, you know, become <laughs> like the most yeah, entertaining in the world. The whole weekend, they never even thought about an you're iPad. You're coming back with a whole boulder. You're like, I'm gonna I'm say this. I'm just saying this stuff that we used to play with, you know, rocks and sticks and boxes, right? Yeah. And to and find stuff look, to do. It's boring. If you put a rock or a stick next to all this stuff, they're not gonna pick it up. <laughs> Obviously, Came right? In, but when, when, you know, we go out camping in the mountains, and all of a sudden, it's just so funny. He climbs this rock that's this yes. tall, and then he's like, I mean, he's like, look at me, look at me, and I'm gonna climb another rock. And yes. you know, just spend some time with them, and, and nothing can replace that. Like I'm not saying screens are evil; they're not the enemy. Right. Yeah. But I'm on a mission moderation. right now. Not even moderation. I want to take screen time and turn it back into kid time. I love that, That's Matt. So I love that, and you're helping parents do it, one parent at a time. And for more <laughs> on his communication course manual or for info, you can go to nlpwithmatt.com. But guess what? I hear you're going to give the course away for free. Yeah, if you go to nlpwithmatt.com, okay. I run a, a long NLP online communication course. It's great for parents, and really great for anyone to communicate better. And I'm going to give the entire 74-page color manual away for free that goes with the course. You just go to nlpwithmatt.com and grab it. Happy to give it to any parent who wants it. That's awesome. Happy holidays from Matt. And it's in Merry color. Christmas. <laughs> yeah, and Merry Christmas. Thank you so much. We love when you're here. Hey, Offer the best happy. tips Come in the on. world. Oh, I wasn't sure how to handshake. I don't know. Go there. Here, I want to work on that. <laughs>